In the heart of America, where fields stretch endlessly and the sky meets the horizon, there stood guardians of unparalleled importance. These were the Minuteman III Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles ICBMs, born in the 1970s to protect against the threat of nuclear war. Originally designed for just 10 years of service, these resilient defenders surpassed all expectations, faithfully standing watch for over 50 years. But as time marched on, their age began to show. Systems faltered, parts wore out, and doubts arose. It became clear that a new era in America's nuclear defense was needed. And so, from the need for change emerged the Sentinel, a symbol of progress, a defender of the nation, and the linchpin of a $130 billion plan to ensure America's safety for years to come. Join me, dear viewers, as we uncover the story of the $130 billion plan to replace the U.S.'s nuclear missiles. It's not just about technology, but about strategy, determination, and the relentless pursuit of security in a world full of uncertainties. 1970s Technology Guards, America's Nuclear Arsenal. The Minuteman III, deployed in 1970, was designed for a 10-year lifespan. Now, over 50 years later, these aging intercontinental ballistic missiles are being phased out. Enter the Sentinel, a next-generation ICBM the Air Force hopes will secure America's future. This ambitious project boasts cutting-edge technology and potentially increased firepower, but comes with a hefty price tag, over $130 billion, significantly exceeding initial estimates. With a range exceeding 5,500 kilometers and three powerful solid fuel rocket motors, it can strike any target across the globe in about 30 minutes. But this digital heart, this reliance on sophisticated systems, raises a critical concern. Is the Sentinel truly a better shield or a riskier bet in the constantly evolving world of nuclear deterrence? Have you ever wondered about those weapons you hear about in the news? The ones that could change the world in the blink of an eye? They're called Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, or ICBMs, and America has relied on them for its defense since 1959. These missiles are truly immense, tucked away in heavily fortified silos spread across the American heartland. They stand ready 24-7, capable of striking targets on the other side of the globe in under 30 minutes. Think about that for a moment. The destructive power of a small city unleashed faster than you can finish lunch. ICBMs blast into the sky on a pillar of fire, powered by massive rocket motors. Once launched, they are on a predetermined path, impossible to stop or divert once the president gives the order. Unlike bombers that can be recalled, these missiles are a one-way street to unimaginable devastation. For decades, the backbone of America's ICBM arsenal has been the Minuteman III, a weapon forged in the 1970s. It was designed for a lifespan of only 10 years, yet through countless upgrades and overhauls, it has remained on duty for over half a century. But time waits for no one, not even a nuclear missile. The Minuteman III is starting to show its age with crucial systems becoming less reliable as the years go on. Technology has marched on, and the old guard is struggling to keep up. Something needs to change, and that's where the Sentinel missile enters the picture. The Sentinel missile represents a significant leap forward in America's nuclear defense strategy, marking the dawn of a new era in military technology. As the Air Force prepares to integrate the Sentinel into its arsenal, it heralds a departure from the outdated Minuteman III system, paving the way for enhanced capabilities and increased security. At the heart of the Sentinel's superiority lies its modular design, akin to assembling a sophisticated puzzle with interchangeable components. This adaptability ensures flexibility in operation and maintenance, allowing for swift upgrades and repairs while maintaining top-notch security standards. Moreover, the use of advanced composite materials not only reduces the missile's weight, but also boosts its throw weight, enabling it to carry a heavier payload of warheads. This added muscle enhances its ability to penetrate and overcome evolving missile defense systems deployed by potential adversaries. Furthermore, the Sentinel boasts an extended range compared to its predecessor, 
giving it the capability to strike targets at greater distances. While the Minuteman 3 already boasts an impressive reach of over 6,000 kilometers, the exact range of the Sentinel remains classified, sparking speculation and intrigue among defense analysts and policymakers alike. As the Sentinel emerges from the shadows of secrecy, it symbolizes America's unwavering commitment to maintaining a robust nuclear deterrent in an uncertain world. With its cutting-edge technology and enhanced capabilities, the Sentinel stands poised to shape the future of global security, ensuring the safety and stability of nations for years to come. So, could it offer an even greater range, further solidifying America's nuclear umbrella? Indeed, while the Sentinel's cutting-edge features promise to revolutionize America's nuclear deterrence capabilities, its ambitious design comes with a staggering financial burden. With costs exceeding $130 billion and continuing to climb beyond initial projections, concerns over budget overruns loom large. Moreover, in an increasingly digitized world, the threat of cyber attacks targeting sophisticated weapon systems like the Sentinel raises serious questions about its vulnerability. Could adversaries exploit weaknesses in its digital infrastructure, potentially compromising its operational integrity and posing a grave risk to national security? Nevertheless, despite these challenges, the LGM-35A Sentinel represents more than just a new missile. It embodies a technological marvel dedicated to safeguarding America's future. Serving as the land-based component of the U.S. nuclear triad, alongside submarine-launched ballistic missiles and strategic bombers, the Sentinel forms a vital part of a comprehensive defense strategy, ensuring a robust and resilient shield against potential aggression. As the United States navigates the complexities of modern warfare and evolving threats, the Sentinel stands as a testament to the nation's unwavering commitment to maintaining peace and security in an ever-changing world. But what is the U.S. nuclear triad? The U.S. nuclear triad is a crucial strategic defense system that consists of three different branches. Submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, strategic bombers, and land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs. These branches operate independently, yet they work together to ensure that the United States maintains a strong nuclear deterrent. Submarine-launched ballistic missiles SLBMs, are carried on submarines deep underwater, providing a stealthy and mobile platform for launching nuclear strikes. Strategic bombers, such as the B-52 and B-2, are capable of delivering nuclear weapons from the air, offering flexibility and rapid response capabilities. Land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, are housed in underground silos on American soil they provide a highly reliable and secure means of delivering nuclear payloads across vast distances. By having these three branches, SLBMs, strategic bombers, and ICBMs, the U.S. nuclear triad ensures redundancy and survivability. Even if one branch were to come under attack or be incapacitated, the other two branches would still be able to deliver a devastating counter-strike. This capability acts as a powerful deterrent against potential adversaries, helping to maintain peace and stability on the global stage. Submarines, particularly ballistic missile submarines (SSBNs), constitute the formidable sea component of the triad. These maritime vessels are ingeniously engineered to remain concealed beneath the ocean surface, rendering them exceedingly challenging to detect and neutralize. Meanwhile, the air segment relies on strategic bombers, such as the legendary B-52 Stratofortress and the elusive B-2 Spirit Bombers, furnishing unparalleled flexibility and global reach by virtue of their capacity to launch from diverse air bases scattered worldwide. Complementing these, land-based ICBMs, such as the venerable Minuteman III and its evolutionary successor, the Sentinel, are strategically housed in fortified silos dispersed across the American heartland. These ballistic missiles serve as the triad's swiftest response mechanism, empowered to deploy their devastating payloads toward designated targets within a matter of minutes. 
The Sentinel, in particular, heralds an era of advanced modular design, heightened precision, and cutting-edge technological enhancements, ensuring the enduring efficacy and agility of this facet of the triad for decades to come. Let's delve into the heart of the Sentinel and explore how it functions. Unlike fighter jets or tanks, ICBMs spend most of their lives underground, cradled within heavily fortified silos. These silos act as protective shells, shielding the missiles from external threats until launch becomes necessary. When that fateful moment arrives, the Sentinel unleashes its fury. Three colossal solid-fuel rocket motors ignite with a thunderous roar, generating a staggering thrust that propels the 75-ton missile skyward at a mind-numbing speed exceeding 15,000 miles per hour. But raw power isn't enough. The Sentinel needs pinpoint accuracy to fulfill its role. Here's where the magic happens. Embedded within the missile is a sophisticated guidance system that utilizes a combination of astro-inertial navigation and GPS technology. Think of it as a celestial GPS. By meticulously tracking the positions of stars and referencing data from space satellites, the Sentinel carves a precise parabolic path towards its target, ensuring it reaches its destination over 5,500 kilometers away within a hair-raising 30 minutes. During its ascent, the Sentinel carries a deadly payload, a thermonuclear warhead. Their purpose is clear, to ensure overwhelming destructive potential. Yet, the Sentinel doesn't carry its warhead throughout the entire flight. After reaching a designated point in its trajectory, the missile performs a crucial maneuver. It separates from the warhead, allowing this destructive payload to continue on an independent course toward the target. This separation offers vital strategic advantages. Firstly, it shortens the warhead's overall flight time, making it even harder for potential missile defense systems to react and intercept. Secondly, the smaller independent warhead becomes a far more elusive opponent, presenting a greater challenge to any defensive countermeasures. The exact type of warhead the Sentinel will carry is the W87 Tasher-1. This new warhead is a significant investment developed specifically for the Sentinel, marking the first newly manufactured American nuclear warhead in decades. The W87-1 promises to replace the aging W78 currently carried by the Minuteman 3, ensuring a modern and potent deterrent. To deliver the warhead to its destination, the missile utilizes the MK-2A re-entry vehicle. This specialized module provides a protective shell for the warhead as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere at staggering speeds. It's designed to withstand extreme temperatures and stresses, ensuring the accurate delivery of its devastating payload. The Sentinel missile is a remarkable technological achievement representing a significant advancement in military capabilities. Its capacity to carry multiple warheads, known as a Mir V configuration, grants it unparalleled striking power, allowing for simultaneous attacks on multiple targets with just one launch. More than just a replacement for the Minuteman 3, the Sentinel embodies America's steadfast commitment to upholding its national security interests amidst a constantly evolving global landscape. Yet, the deployment of the Sentinel prompts a pivotal question. Should the United States adhere to its current policy of single warhead ICBMs, or should it exploit the Sentinel's multi-warhead capability? This decision holds the potential to reshape strategic doctrines, potentially reducing the overall number of missiles required for deterrence. It's a complex issue with far-reaching implications for international security. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. And if you found this video informative, hit that like button, share it with others, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Remember, knowledge is power. Until next time, stay informed and stay vigilant.